Hi gorgeous! Happy Frugal Friday to you! Today I'm showing you how to depot your Wet n Wild eyeshadows and I'll be giving you four different methods for doing this. Three of them require heat and one is a no heat method. Now, I'm not saying you have to depot your Wet n Wild eyeshadows. It's really up to your own unique personal preference as to whether or not you want to keep them in the little Wet n Wild palettes or you just want to consolidate them all down into one palette. I personally prefer consolidation because I'm an organizational freak, but like I said, it's really up to your own personal preference. First thing you want to do is remove the label from the back of the eyeshadow palette. You don't have to remove it completely, but try to remove as much as possible. It just makes things a lot easier, especially with this method. Then take a lighter and run the palette over the open flame. And this is why it's called the Pyromaniac's Dream. This is not the safest method out of all the ones I'll be showing you today, but it is the fastest. Eventually, you'll start to see holes form in the back of the palette, and that's the point when you want to take a object like a little pair of scissors and push through to get the eyeshadow to come out. Next method uses a candle, and if you do try either this method or the one before it, please make sure that you wear a face mask or that you're in a well-ventilated area so you're not breathing in the burning plastic chemicals. Very similar to the previous method, but it's a little safer because you have a lot more control by holding the palette over the candle. But the plastic will melt very fast, so be on your toes. First thing I'm doing is breaking the lid off of the palette, and I know many of you are probably cringing right about now as I'm doing this. It makes the palette a lot easier to lay flat on the flat iron rather than if you were to keep the lid on. Every flat iron is different in terms of temperature, so it's really hard for me to tell you what setting to put it on exactly. I have mine set to medium high heat. I don't have it cranked all the way up because that's way too hot. So somewhere in the middle is where you want to have it set. To test if the eyeshadow is ready to be popped out of the palette, take a small object, I'm using a pair of scissors here, and press through the back of the palette. And if the glue has melted enough, you'll start to see the pans pop out of the palette. Great thing about the Wet n Wild eyeshadows is that there is a large enough crevice for you to get a tool in there to help lift the eyeshadows out also. In the no heat method, you will need rubbing alcohol and a small eyedropper tool. Deposit the alcohol in the four corners of each eyeshadow in the palette, and you want to let the alcohol set for about one to two minutes. This is the safest method out of all the ones I'm showing you today, but it is my least favorite simply because if you're not careful with how you lift the eyeshadows out, you can end up breaking them. So you do want to be a little bit more careful with this process. And if you're wondering if the alcohol will affect the eyeshadow, not at all. You won't be able to tell once it's dried where you applied it. For labels, you'll need magnets. I use this magnetic adhesive sheet that I found from Michael's Craft Stores. You will also need an empty palette. Z palettes work great. And labels, I'm using a mailing label here. Cut out a piece of the magnetic sheet to start with and then lay out the eyeshadows in the pattern that you want to preserve them in on the magnet. Trace around the eyeshadows so you'll know where to cut out the pattern. Once you have that done, then you can peel off the paper and begin to stick the eyeshadows onto the magnetic sheet in the pattern that you had laid out previously. And if you use this magnetic sheet, it is really easy to move the eyeshadows around. They don't stick immediately. And if you need to, you can also go back and trim the edges and then create your label. I'm cutting a piece out from a huge mailing label that I have. This has a sticky back, so it's really easy to stick onto the magnet. And there you go, no more chunky eyeshadow palettes hanging around. Now you have a sleek, organized palette of your Wet n Wild eyeshadows. And if you use any of these methods for depotting your wet and wild eyeshadows, let me know which one and feel free to share your work. Hashtag me at Frugal Fridays on any of my social media platforms. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more Frugal Fridays. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Have a great weekend.